All right, guys. We are here today at Fremont Skate Park. This is Gabe Cruz. This is Justin Soria, and we have all these trucks, as you can see. These were given to us by Red Curb Skate Shop. They did not just give us these trucks. I asked if I could borrow them for the video, and then I'm going to give them back. So, big thank you to Red Curbs in Fremont, California. You guys should check out their shop. It's a really cool shop. A lot of people ask me in the comments, what, tries, what size truck should I buy? <laughs> like, if I'm going to get an 8 or if I'm going to get a 775, what size truck should I buy? So, I think the first thing we should check out is board sizes because that's an important factor. And this is an eight, right? Yes. So what that means is that the size of the deck is eight inches wide, okay? Now, if we check out this board, this is an 8.25. So you can see that this board is wider than this board. It's probably a little bit hard to tell, but it is. Now, people have different preferences on what size boards they want to ride. What is your size? 8.1. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. This is an 8.1. This is Justin's board. So the question is, why do you skate an 8.1? Um, I don't know. All right, why do you skate an 8? To me, a 775 board is pretty tiny. It's uh, hard to land on. My feet are kind of big, so it's hard to put my feet on. And uh, 825 is too huge. And it's very hard to do like flip tricks. Like a tray flip on the 825 is impossible for me. So I just go happy medium right in the middle and it seems to work out fine. Yeah, I guess it's a different preference for everybody. I started skating on a 775 and I remember I was trying to do some different tricks and I felt like my feet kept coming off. So that's when I switched to an eight. And I think I want to go even higher to an 8.1 or an 8.25 because I have pretty big feet, size 11 feet. And I just, I've tried out some of these 8.25 and I was landing more tricks. So I'd like to try it out and see how it works. So anyway, you guys can just try out different board sizes. There's a lot of different opinion on it, but the best way is just to try it out yourself and see what feels best. Okay, so now let's go over skateboard trucks. Now I've seen this in the comments, what size truck should I buy? And I understand why they're asking that because it's a little bit weird. You think, yeah, I need an 8.0 size truck and you buy that, but they don't actually have an 8.0 size truck, or at least a lot of companies don't. Instead, they use numbers and different truck companies have different numbers. So these are Thunders and this has a tag right here that tells you actually, so it's very simple. Um, it says 143 is for 7.6 and under, 145 is for a 7.4 to a 7.9, 147 is to a 7.9 to an 8.2, 149 is an 8.2 to an 8.4. 151 is 8.4 and up. So if you're getting thunder, that is the, the guide, it's right here. Now this, on the bottom of these trucks, you can see what size these are. These are 147s. So that means that this would fit a 7.9 to an 8.2. This would fit for Gabe's board and Justin's board, but it would be too small for this board. This is my board, it's an eight. It would fit on this board. Seven, nine to an 8.2. So that means oh. if you're getting anywhere between that, if you're skating an eight, you would want to get, if you're skating Thunders, you'd want to skate 147s. Now that we have another pair of Thunders, and these so ones 145s. are 145s, like Gabe said. So 145s are a 7.4 to a 7.9. So that means if you're skating a 775, which is what Aaron used to skate and I used to skate, this is the truck that you would want. Um, if you're skating a 7.5, this is what you would want. Any range between 7.4 and 7.9. No one here has that small of a board, but if we did, this is what size we would ride. So now let's take a look at independent. They have their own sizing. So I have on my phone a size chart for independent, so we're just gonna go over that. So these ones are 139s, it looks like. So per this, a 139 will fit a 775 to an 8.25. So that's actually pretty convenient because I think that's pretty much what most people ride. They ride a 775 to an 8.25, somewhere in that band. Some people will skate smaller boards like a 75, but most of the people <coughs> I skate with skate somewhere in between them. So if you're getting independence, you're most likely gonna pick up a 139. <coughs> now we have another set of independence. These are 129s. So 129 will fit anywhere between a 7.4 and a 7.75. If you're skating a 7.75 or smaller, down to a 7.4, yeah. this is what you're gonna use. I feel like the universal size is kind of an eight. This is kind of like- Yeah, eight's pretty like, a lot of people kind of settle at an eight. Mm -hmm. If you look at these trucks, I mean, you can just see that it's just a little bit smaller. So I guess uh, if you were to put it on this board, the wheels would just be too inside. Just 
wouldn't work out right. Okay, so the last pair of trucks we have is the Ace. We only have one set, and I think the reason why is because these trucks are 33s. So you can see on the on the hanger it says 33. These will fit a 775 to an 8.25. Oh wow, that's so a big. That's gonna cover a lot of the common board sizes. See, but I don't really, I don't get how that works though. Like how, how does that, why does it fit multiple sizes if the truck is one length? I don't know, I think the thing is, is don't get super complex about it. This is what they recommend. I'm sure you could switch it up if you're like, I skate a 7.75 and I prefer to use a different size. You could do that. I mean, no one's saying that you can't do that. But these are the general guidelines. So every company is different. And honestly, that was something that was news to me when I started going to shops more and buying more stuff. I thought it was something as simple as, I skate a 775, can I please get 7.75 independence? And this is coming from the guy who went to a skate park, a skate shop and said, do you guys sell grip tape? <laughs> yes, I did do that. So I'm obviously a beginner and I'm learning, but I wanted to share this knowledge with you, especially because you guys have been asking. I think it, it's good information to have. You won't go into the skate shop and I'm like a complete noob if you ask something like that. If you go to the shop and ask for help, they're gonna help you out. If you go to Red Curbs, for instance, and you say, I skate an eight, I'm sure they'll help you find the trucks that you want, but it probably helps to know what kind of trucks you want. Like you say, I want to skate Thunders and I skate an eight. Can you please pick out the right trucks for me? And like yeah right here but if you wanted to be a boss you could use the information in this video and be like um, you, you already know you skate an 8 so you'd be like I need to get Thunder 147s please and then they're like oh yeah of course you skateboard the other thing that we want to talk about today is high trucks versus low trucks I have now, we actually did a video about this called high trucks versus low trucks but since we have all these trucks we're gonna look at it all of these trucks are high trucks the only trucks that we have that are lows are Gabe's. Let me just read this and then you can give me your opinion. Human Lancipedia. So according to this random website, trucks generally come in low, mid, and high styles. Low trucks are best for beginners because they are extra stable. They're also great for flip tricks for that reason. Mid trucks are the most common and versatile trucks and are great for street or park skating. High trucks are best for cruising and carving and overall less technical skating. I don't know exactly like how accurate that is. That is according to this random website. Now give me your opinion because you skate lows. I love lows. Um, I switched to highs once because I got these new trucks for Christmas and I like could not do anything. Like when I added that little extra height, I felt like it changed the entire like physics of my pop. And I was so accustomed to the low pop that the high truck pop is just strange to me for some reason. Yeah, and I think this also comes down to personal opinion. Yeah, it's I mean, all, what it's do you all, skate all it is. I skate high trucks. Do you have a reason why? Um, not really. I feel like, I don't know, I don't really skate park either or like tranny at all. I kind of skate street. So honestly, this all comes down to personal preference. Like the best, best, best way to actually know which one you want to use is to skate on all of them and try them out. Try out different stuff. Try out high trucks, try out low trucks. If your friend has low trucks, skate his board. If your friend has an 8.0, skate his board. You know, if you can afford it, then get a couple different boards and try out some different combinations. Um, so anyway, I hope that this helps you guys. The main thing I wanted to cover is truck sizes. I definitely learned a lot from doing this. Um, I think the most important thing is you just decide what company you want to skate, and then you just do a little research, look at their size chart. They probably have, all of them are online. You just look it up, see the different sizes, see what kind of board you're skating, and you can find the ones that fit for you. And I'm sure you can just go into a shop and ask them. But if you're gonna order online, you know, I guess it will help to know the information in this video. So. There you guys go. I hope it helps. I know I'm not like the most qualified person to be teaching because I can't skate that well, but I, I skate with a lot of people and I am around skate shops and I have access to a lot of equipment because, you know, at Braille we film all kinds of skateboarding stuff. So I thought I could help you guys out. I hope this advice is helpful for you. If you guys have other feedback, you can leave it in the comments below. If you want to see us cover more how-to, like, information on skateboarding equipment, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your questions are and I'll definitely check it out. Thanks again to Red Curbs. You guys can follow Gabe at GabeCruz01. You can follow him at SXRIA on Instagram and his YouTube channel in the description below. <laughs> and you can follow me at Lance Silver and the Braille channel at Braille Skate. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment below.